What is up, guys? Biggie49 here. We are back on the Desolation map. And this isn't exactly the Desolation map. It's an imposter. This is an, this is an imposter map. We're on an alternate save of Desolation because I want to do something special for you guys today. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. What I want to do today is bring back an old friend of ours. An old friend of the Desolation map. And it's coming in the form of PvP. Oh, yeah, guys. I got some big news for you guys that I want to share with you today. And it's going to cause us to play a lot more PvP in the future. So let's get right into that. First of all, before I get into any, any games, I want to show you guys something. I had a lot of help from Whiskrum and Sage Omnivore 500. And we spent a whole afternoon just ridding ourselves of the Glowstone Menace. Okay, we didn't get all that because it's not exactly in the playing field. We don't really care about the, the airport. So let's forget about all this. Forget you're seeing all this. But we spent a whole afternoon going throughout the entire map. Uh, Lone's always got these things in the way. What is this, Lone? Ah, uh, we spent a whole afternoon going through the entire map trying to get rid of Glowstone. And we were successful. Oh man, I hate this part of it. I don't like all this water he's put up here. Okay, anyway, there we go. Well, what we were doing in the past is we were using TNT to blow up all the, the grass so that mobs couldn't spawn down here, but we got frustrated, guys. We can't play PvP because of all the glowstone that was down here. We just couldn't play it at all. It was just so laggy, and a lot of people say, oh, glowstone doesn't cause lag. Well, yes, it does. Absolutely. It causes frame rate lag, and we had to get rid of it in order to play some PvP. So thank you to Whiskrum and Sage Omnivore 500. You guys were a lifesaver. You know, I didn't want to just get rid of the glowstone because, you know, it's added work because we have to get rid of all that dirt and grass anyway because mobs spawn down there. We don't want them spawning below the city. We want them sp spawning on the city map. So eventually I'm going to have to go back and TNT the whole thing, which is going to take months, basically. But for now, guys, we can play PvP without mobs on the Desolation map and it's got my juices flowing. So that's why I want to bring back an old friend today. We're going to bring back a game invented by my friend Ro979 and it's called Looper. That's right guys, it's called Looper, but we're gonna call this Looper 2.0. Looper 2.0, all right guys, so I don't know, you know, the only way you've heard of Looper is if you've been watching Desolation, you've been watching me for like two years, then you probably have heard of Looper. It's a PvP game that we used to play back in the day a lot, and it's uh, centered around a guy who can travel through time, I guess. I've never seen the movie, it's based on a movie that I've never seen. So, I don't really know the details of it, but, you know, it was described to me by Ro, and basically where this is the way it works. Let me, let me, before I get into building it, let me show you the way it works. It's gonna be a one versus seven game. One person versus seven other people. The one person is gonna be the looper, and he's gonna spawn on top of Ikea. So let's go do his part first. Well, since I'm explaining the whole Ikea thing. So he's gonna spawn on top of Ikea, and I'm gonna put a beacon down here so that everyone knows that he's spawning here. Hey, no, let's do it this way. There we go. Here's a little beacon to show where the looper spawns. Uh, wait, wait, I keep saying looper. No, I'm sorry, it's jumper. Oh, I've seen looper. Yeah, that's the movie with the uh, Bruce Willis. No, I'm talking about jumper, excuse me. Jumper is the movie, uh, not looper. I don't know why I said, I don't know why I said that. Okay, anyway, the jumper is gonna spawn here and he's gonna have a bunch of cool stuff. So the first main thing he's gonna have is these iron boots. They have a nice little enchantment on them. Let's find that enchantment. Uh, it's around here somewhere. Oh, my favorite enchantment, guys. My favorite. I love this. I don't play survival without it. Never have, never will. Where's the anvil? Okay. So first thing he's going to have is Feather Fallen 5. 4, 5, 4, 4. <laughs> okay, we're going to put that in his little chest. He's also going to have... We'll give him... I mean, I want him to have some sort of advantage. So we'll give him a Splash Potion of Speed. Because it's 1v7, guys. 1v7. It's not easy. Where's the speed? We'll give him two of those. Actually, no. We'll give him one of those. And then we'll give him night vision. Because it could get dark. We'll give him one of those. We'll give him some food. Because he's got to have the food. Let's say... I like to give stacks of potatoes. I don't want food to be an issue, so I'm just going to give a whole stack. Now he's. we need a way to differentiate him from the other players on the map so we'll give him what kind of color tunic should he need i think like green maybe like lime green that could be good oops wait there we go there we go okay he'll have a lime green tunic like he works at 7-eleven 
But the most important thing that the looper has, the jumper has, I keep saying looper, the jumper has, excuse me guys, sorry bro, it's jumper, duh. Probably already put it in the comment section like, B, what are you talking about? There's no looper game. <laughs> Where's the enderpearls? Okay. No! This one, thank you. So the most important thing is I'm gonna give him, we'll say six. Is six a lot? Six might be too many. We'll give him four. We'll give him four for the time being. So that's gonna be the jumper. And he's gonna start here. He's gonna have all this stuff. He has no weapons, as you see. Now the objective of the game is for the jumper to make his way from the Ikea all the way to the ghetto till he reaches the top of, what is this called? <laughs> Odab's Brewery. And we're gonna put some, some nice goodies in the Odab's Brewery. So he's gotta reach here. And the objective is for him to grab the gold. So we're gonna put some gold in here. We'll have, where's the gold blocks? Ah, see I don't really build with gold blocks that much so it's hard to find them. Okay, the gold blocks are right there. All right, so that's the objective. He's trying to get these gold blocks. Now we're gonna give him a little bit of a boost once he gets here, so we'll give him another speed, we'll give him another night vision. So we'll have a little boost here. We'll also give him four more ender pearls. Makes sense to me. Oops. Trying to go too fast here, too fast. So we go four, there we go. All right, so he's got a little re-up, <laughs> if you will. So the, so the jumper has got to get from the Ikea to here, to the top of Odabs, and then back to Ikea again with all the gold. If he can do that, he wins the game. But guys, it's not gonna be that easy, because it's not gonna be that simple, because standing in his way are the agents. We're gonna call them agents, okay? And the agents, let's say they spawn, uh, it's pretty close to Odabs. Let's say they spawn like, uh, Ikea's right there. I guess we'll put them, I want a nice little open space where I can put them. We'll put them right here. Let's clear some of this out so we can have a nice space here. So we're gonna have seven agents and these agents are armed to the teeth. So let's go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven agents, okay? Now we need to give them some weapons. I like to give iron swords, so let's uh, make some copies of these. I have tile jobs on this time, so I can actually do this. <laughs> All right, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then what we need is to enchant this. Oh man, I hate, this just takes so long to do this. But anyway, we'll give them, uh, let's see, sharpness. Where's the sharpness? There it is. And then this here. I don't know why the anvils are not with the book, so it makes sense, doesn't it? All right. This is real PvP, guys. We don't play battle mode around here. We like the we like the more complex things, more things that require strategy than battle mode. I mean, the, the strategy I'm using air quotes for battle mode is to hang out near the middle and hope you get good stuff. That's the strategy. That's not what we're going for here on the Desolation map. We like PvP that makes you think, that makes you be strategic, that makes you test your PvP bow skills. You know, the bow is pretty much a non-issue in battle mode and I hate it because, you know, that's my specialty. I love the bow. The bow takes actual skills. It's not like sword spamming where a lot of it's just luck based and you know, I don't know. I don't like it. I don't like the sword spamming in this game. I can't wait for the combat update. All oh, the combat update, guys. It's going to be awesome. It's going to change this game drastically, which is what it needs really badly. It needs an uh, update to this sword mechanic that we have here. All right, so seven. The, there's the seven swords. Now we're going to give them seven bows. And I had these bows already made. These are power five bows. That's the way I like it. You know, you should be punished if you get shot. You know, it's uh, with the guy having... With the, the jumper having uh, a tunic, a, a chest plate, and uh, some shoes, it's not going to be one hit kills with these. They're going to be more like two hit kills. So if you get hit twice as the jumper, you dead and the game is over. Okay, what else do these guys need? They need some food. Absolutely need some food. Let's see, we'll give them some more potatoes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, so they got food. Uh-huh. What else would they need? Arrows, of course they need arrows. They, uh, Bow is useless without the arrows. What do you think he'd be? Get some arrows up in here. Of course, you know, 
So the plan is here guys, the plan is uh, we're going to test this out a little bit. If you want to play, if you want to be part of the testing of this game, then you need to follow me on Twitter because I'm going to post it on Twitter the times that I'm going to open up the testing. Uh, if you are not friends with me, then friend someone in my party. When you go to my profile, you can see who's in my party. Friend one of them, send them a message saying you want to play PvP because my friends list is full. My friends list is full. If you send me a message, I just ignore my messages. I don't read them. I get so many Xbox Live messages. If you want to send me a Twitter message, that's one thing. But an Xbox Live message, I just can't deal with it. So don't send me an Xbox Live message, you know, friend someone in the party, join the party, and then you're in. Then we'll find a way to get you in. Alright, the last thing I want to make for these agents, let me um, make chest plates for them so that they can tell themselves apart. I think we're going to go with black. You know, the agents should be black, right? Should we make them have pants too? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe they should have pants. You know, they, they don't really die. There's no way for the jumper to kill the agents. So they're not going to die at any point. This is going to all be about strategy. The jumper is going to have to be sneaky sneaky. He's going to have to use his ender pearls wisely. He doesn't have a lot, but he's got four of them. That should be enough to get past most agents. Now, if, if this game needs balancing, which it usually does, that's what the testing is for. We're going to test it all up. And uh, if it needs balancing, we'll tweak the chest with potions or with different, uh, you know, different armor items or whatever we want to give to help make the game balance that's why i always test any of my games before i make a youtube video out of them because i want to make sure that they're perfectly balanced before i share them with the world you know what i mean so if you want to get in on this testing you know we, i don't know if we've even i don't know if we've done it by now as far as timelines go <laughs> okay but uh just like jumper we're jumping through the past and the future okay last thing i want to do and this is going to be the hardest part about it because i don't remember how to do this i need these and then we'll need posts with some of these, or a post. So maybe we'll just make them all in separate posts. Okay, one, two, three, four. Uh, uh, how about this? One. <laughs> oh, come on! It's, it's a little bit lag here. I'm in creative mode. It doesn't mean there's not lag. It's hard to do stuff when there's like a slight lag that you're not used to. Because we're definitely not bumping out 60 frames per second right now. Definitely not. And I wish I knew why. <laughs> okay. I wish I knew. So what do we need to, to tame a horse? We need a saddle. Where are you going to find a saddle? Oh man, here goes the saddle hunt. Transportation? There it is. Alright, uh, golden carrots? I mean, uh, how do you make them friendly to you faster? Is it a golden carrot? Or, I mean, I, I think you can give them any kind of food, but this is the way to do it fast, right? Okay. Let's, uh, we need an empty spot in the inventory so we can get on him. Alright, get tame, buddy. Oh, man, here we go. This old dance, this old routine. Come on. He's a wild stallion. He doesn't want to cooperate. Oh, did I tame him? He's not bucking me. I didn't see the hearts though. Oh, there he goes. He bucked me. Uh, I gotta give him something to make him friendly. Sugar. Sugar. Does he like sugar? What do you like, buddy? Tell me what you like and I'll get it for you. Anything you want. Come on. Um, so it wasn't a golden carrot. What did he like? Maybe an apple? You want an apple? You like apples? I got apples. Here, take an apple, dude. There you go. Do you like these? <laughs> he likes it, right? There we go. He liked the apple. So let's put a let's put a thing on him. There we go. We got one. All right. So we, I'm going to only put four. I don't want every agent to have a horse. No, now I'm all discombobulated. I, oh, this one's slow. <laughs> oh, you didn't see which one this was, guys. It's going to be random. The first four people who get a horse have a horse, basically. So half the... A little more than half of the, the agents are going to... Let me give him, a, give him give the apple. A little bit more than half the agents are going to be able to move more quickly than the others. Wow, instant buck. Oh, this is going to be an ornery one. Don't be ornery now. Okay, this is going to take a while. I gave you some apples. You didn't like? No likey to apple? I don't know what they eat. What does a horse eat? Horses love apples in real life. They can just pluck them from the tree. Come on. The people are watching and waiting. We don't have time for this. Thank you. Jeez. Let's see how fast this guy is. Hi ho silver! Oh, he's a little faster. All right. I don't care about their jumping abilities at this moment. Horses are the best way to traverse the, the desolation map, guys, because there's so much. No! <laughs> no one wants the donkey. I know it'd be funny, but we can't have no donkeys around here. Hey, 
Let me throw the thing. Come on, just die. There you go. Nice death. Die with honor, doggy. I'm gonna keep giving these apples just in case they're actually doing something. I'm not really sure if they're doing anything. Come on, stallion. This will be good. If he's a fast stallion, then people won't know which white one is the slow one. <laughs> right? Come on. Come on. Oh, this one's wild. Look how wild he is. Look how wild this one is. Does he have red eyes? He's like a demon horse. Come on, demon horse. Wow. He's just bucking me instantly here. There we go. High ho silver. All right, then we got that. All right. How's this? Oh, he's super fast. Okay, that's a fast one. People aren't gonna know which one's which. I'm, I'm gonna switch them so they don't know. I'm gonna switch, it's gonna be like, uh, you know, wild card. <laughs> and then we got this guy. Oh, I didn't give him an apple. Here, take an apple. I don't know if you like it, but take it. All right, come on now. The people are waiting. They want to see the finished Looper game. Looper, I keep calling it Looper. What's wrong with me? It's a jumper. It's Jumper 2.0 is what we're going to call this. The, the last jumper had, it was two versus six. And everyone had a horse on the agents team. I don't know. I didn't like it that much. I think it's better if one person is the focus of all the attention. It's sort of like the hidden, you know, hidden seven versus one. I like the seven v one games. Whenever you're that one person, the stress levels, the adrenaline starts flowing. Did he? Did he? Uh, no, he's still not tame. What's he waiting for? Come on, be tame now. Wait, is he tame or not? Oh, he is tame. I just missed it. Okay. All right. Cool. So here we go. We got the horses. First four people to grab a horse, grab a horse. You know, I'm going to let the people figure out how they're going to do it. If they want to strategize or they want to just make a rush for the horses. So we got the horses. We got the chest. Am I forgetting anything? I always forget something. <laughs> I always forget something. I think the agents are pretty well equipped. You know, it's pretty balanced. So there should be no problems there. All right. Now I got to make sure that all the save uh, things are right. Oh, that's my sensitivity. No, I want I want host option. Okay, daylight cycle no. Keep inventory should be doesn't matter. If you die, you're out. Mob spawning off. Mob griefing. Uh, it'll be on hard with no mobs. So it'll be on hard. It'll be on adventure mode. Mob tile drops off. Natural regen sure. Okay, I think that's it, guys. I think we got ourselves some jumper 2.0. So if you want to play, you know what to do. Tweet tweet me up. Alright guys, so thank you for watching. As always, leave a like if you enjoyed this. Get ready for some PvP this week, hopefully. Hopefully. Alright guys, happy Minecrafting. Peace.